U.S. City volunteers distribute cash cards and blankets to tornado-affected residents. City volunteers in Kaohsiung comfort a man after a life-threatening fire hazard. Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Sibir Su. Thank you for joining us. In the United States in early September, tornado has devastated parts of Maryland. In the aftermath of the tornado, Washington, D.C. city volunteers have crossed states to distribute cash cards and blankets to the affected residents. In the aftermath of the tornado, the streets have been devastated. The houses have lost their roofs and the homes are damaged. I walked outside and looked up and down. Our, we live right on the main street, uh -huh. and there are like trees everywhere. Wow. Washington, D.C. city volunteers have driven across the states to assess damages. A week later, they've initiated a distribution. my neighbors who's lost their whole roof and their whole house and just they have been upended and their homes have been determined unhabitable. I'm still living in mine and again I thank God and I'm so grateful to Suchi and all the other organizations that has helped our, our community. Regionally that will help us to rebuild after the damages, after the heartache, after the heartbreak has been something to be very thankful for. This foundation are truly angels in our midst. If ever I've seen them, they are here to help us. In early September, Hurricane Ida devastated much of northeastern United States. Among the city flooded was Inglewood, New Jersey. City volunteers headed to the disaster area to assess the damages. They worked with a charity organization, the Bergen Family Center, to help those in need. Let us all pray together for war, peace, and the harmony. Early September, they had been attacked by Hurricane Ida, and in these moments, they need much love and strength to rebuild their homes. We appreciate so much. I know that the families that came today, 120 families came. They got the gift cards from the Tsuchi Foundation. They got emergency blankets. They got masks. They got other, other essential items. Bergen Family Center has been established for over a hundred years and cares for a wide variety of disadvantaged groups. With their experience, the Bergen Family Center took only three days to finish the aid roster. This is their first time working with the New Jersey City Volunteers. We did it fast because it was so important, but you made it easy for us because you told us what we needed to do. Uh, so we, we were very happy to be able to provide the service today and very grateful to you and to the foundation. There were 111 families here today. We began at 10 in the morning and finished close to 1 p.m., so it was very efficient. Both organizations worked well together. The city of Inglewood in New Jersey is on the way to recovery, thanks to all the collective prayers of the residents. Thank you. Thank you. In Germany, in the aftermath of the recent flood, city volunteers went to the large dining truck to provide hot food to the affected residents. A Jingzi efforts and card is also provided to the meal recipients. A senior is interested in Jingzi aphorisms, and he specifically returned to the scene to purchase Jingzi aphorisms. City volunteers gave him a copy of Jingzi aphorisms as a gift. Oh, great. Listen carefully. Master said, seize the present moment and make it everlasting. The 80-year-old beekeeper also asked his wife to take one after he was giving kind words. City volunteers in Europe provide helpful services in fluff dragon areas, and Jin Zavrism was loved. A week later, a beekeeper made a special trip back to Tsuji Station, hoping to have a good word. Yeah, man can't mean them when they're Then can't more yet than have cooking. Ah. Okay. 
viel zu muss zahlen. Nein, der kostet noch. Spende. Und Sie wollen ja, kann Sie mal spenden, ja? Super. Man kann jeden Tag gucken. Ja, ja, ja. Okay. Mhm. Ja, gut, danke schön. Ja? Gut, danke. Schöne Tag nach. In the disaster areas, residents are waiting for their lives to recover, hoping for economy to improve. The smiles on many people's faces come from the encouragement of Jin's aphorisms. Such a Philippine chapter occasionally receives second-hand assisted devices, such as hospital beds or wheelchairs. The staff are sworn and clean them and then store them in the warehouse of the city grounds. Recently, a family of a patient borrowed a hospital trifolding bed from Ciji. The warehouse of the Cizi Philippine chapter has all kinds of assistive devices which are ready for use. This time, a trifolding hospital bed is going to help a 94-year-old patient. So the staff cleaned and dried every part of the bed again, including the bed frame and wheels, before sending it off to the grandma. Yung bed na ginagamit niya po, yung ordinary bed po. Originally, her bed was an ordinary bed. The bed you sent is very helpful. So when she has meals, we can adjust the angle of the bed. Otherwise, it's very difficult for her to have meals in the original bed. This is stop spray alcohol to disinfect the bed again before moving it inside the house. The recycled hospital bed allows love to continue, benefiting both patients and caregiver. A COVID outbreak at a kindergarten in New Taipei led more than 100 young children to be quarantined overnight. There was no time to prepare luggage, let alone toys. The city government cooperated with the local toy bank to prepare all kinds of toys that were sent to a pandemic prevention hotel. The toys can be operated normally, and the colored pens are checked to see if they can draw lines before they are packed as these toys are to be given to kindergarten children. Everyone's in a hurry to go to this pandemic prevention hotel. For younger kids, they may like toys with sound and light, but in the hotel they don't have a screwdriver nor batteries. So here we help them test it first. All preparations must be done quickly. The Social Welfare Bureau especially prepares child care kits in case there are younger kids that need to be quarantined. Look at this ball. If you're playing a game of catch, you can observe them walking and picking up the ball. All these movements can test their development. From these photos, one can see that the children who received the gifts were really happy. And there were others who played until they fell asleep, not bearing to let go of the toys with their hands. Parents are very grateful. They can also take a short break. These children are at an age that seems like they understand, but actually don't. So they think it's more of a vacation. Also, the parents are still very supportive of our school. They're actually looking forward to resuming classes. These gifts of toys during the pandemic prevention period allow everyone to have the courage to fight the virus. In the early morning, a fire broke out in Chenzhen district. During the hazard, a young son escaped first, but his parents were still trapped inside the house. After firefighters broke into the home, the father has passed away. Upon hearing the news, city volunteers accompanied the heartbroken son. As the first floor of the apartments released smokes, firefighters tried their best to save and evacuate residents from nearby households. Residents nearby even helped firefighters in their efforts by dousing the fire with their own water hose. At 5 in the morning, a fire broke out at the apartments. The son escaped first, crying for help for his parents who are stuck inside. The entire living room burned and the son escaped from a window in the next room. Firefighters cut through the iron door, attempting to save the couple. The house owner and his wife slept at the attic. 
which meant their escape routes were blocked. When the firefighters discovered them, we immediately brought them down. The 50-year-old couple has no vital signs when they were discovered by firefighters. Upon hearing the news, local village chief and city volunteers came to bring care. The household is about middle class, but the owner isn't working right now that I know of. We thought that when young people encounter this type of situation, they'll feel frightened. So we hope to give the son a source of comfort. Knowing the young son has to deal with the aftermath himself, city volunteers are here to accompany him, comforting his broken heart. Zhanghua County's first Plastic Reduction Alliance campaign has started in Lugang. City volunteers divided into six routes with Lugang Mazu Temple as the center. Businesses who join the alliance encourage consumers to bring their own shopping bags. City volunteers actively promoted the Plastic Reduction Alliance. The owner of the souvenir shop agreed to promote environmental protection. We should be mindful about environmental protection. It's just such a simple concept. Let's do it together, everyone. This cake shop owner also supported the concept of plastic reduction and environmental protection. If you bring your own shopping bag, we'll give you a single carton cake. Let's do environmental protection together. To love Taiwan and the next generation of people, we should bring our own reusable bag. The first plastic reduction alliance in Zhanghua County started from Lugang as volunteers divided into six routes to promote the Miaoko business district. We will start the activity from this area and spread it to the whole Zhanghua County. We hope everyone can come together. There are also young people from a family promoting environmental protection to do live broadcasts during the event. Zhanghua County Environmental Protection Bureau Local business district leaders also came in person to express their support. We want to let the public know that reducing from the source is far more important than recycling. I urge our stalls to cooperate as much as possible. I also hope that tourists won't ask for plastic bags anymore. When shopping, everyone is encouraged to bring your own bags. Stores and consumers are encouraged to work together to improve the environment together. During the pandemic, the Shangri-La Group in Hong Kong cooperated with Siji to send living packages to disadvantaged people. As the Mid-Autumn Festival is approaching, the Shangri-La Group has made 900 boxes of vegetarian mooncakes to be given to charitable organizations. The mooncake box set, which is wrapped on the outside with golden individual packing inside, is the Shangri-La Group's special for this year. It's vegetarian. The filling inside is made with lotus seeds with skin. They're called Golden Lotus Paste. This is specially made for Zhiji. Organization, it has been a great honor um, because we really appreciate the hard effort you put in inside, uh, helping and supporting the local community. And from our part as well, it's an honor to contribute slightly. Uh, and this mooncakes here are part of it. It's something we've been loving to do for the last year. It's something we hope we can continue to do and work with the community moving forward. As Mid Autumn Festival is coming, we hope to give these mooncakes to some disadvantaged groups and families. Apart from the mooncakes, Siji also prepare food packages, including seasonal fruits for them. Nine hundred boxes of mooncakes will be sent to at least eighteen charitable organizations in Hong Kong. Hotel employees also move the mooncakes diligently to cultivate blessings. Today we'll bring you the story of a mother-daughter pair who have taken the internet by storm with their vegetarian home cooking. Daughter Fan Tingjie is in the seventh grade. She will influence people to be vegetarians wherever she goes. I saw on the internet that a lot of older brothers and sisters or adults will go try different vegetarian food and share it with everyone. So I thought as a kid, what can I do? I talked it over with my mom, and we decided we can share our daily dinner with everyone to promote vegetarianism. Just like 
拉好脚料，因为你爱用卡骨，我的卡啊你跳接，然后成团料那个下一个镜头。In Hualien, a bunch of young people began using social media's live video function to promote vegetarianism. They asked me if I could join them, and since I couldn't go, I thought, why not do something at home? So I began sharing my home cooking with others. We were invited to Da ITV to participate in the Young Vegetarian Show. Honestly, when you see children being able to make these vegetarian dishes, then it seems that cooking is really easy. 小树童厨房，我们今天要做的料理是十全十美握寿司，耶！那我们想说，哎，为何不在家 ？So we thought we could try it at home and film a video. We can simply do it with the mobile phone. 妹，就第一段，五、四、三、二。At the very start, we didn't have lighting, and then the video looked wrong. So we used what we had, which was a table lamp, to light the set. So in the beginning, if you see our behind-the-scenes photo, you can see someone holding up a table lamp for about a minute at a time of filming, which was my husband's job. I used what software the laptop came with and learned about how to use the software from various YouTube videos. I just threw whatever related video or photo into the program and I tried it out. I don't know how to cook, but I saw how much fun it was and I wanted to do what I can to help. Today we're going to do a dish called Dan Sui Xiao Shi A Gei. In the vegetable soup, you have to put the vegetable in the soup and then put it in the soup. After I became a vegetarian, I couldn't eat a lot of things, so I like to come up with vegetarian versions of it. For instance, I used to love eating fried chicken and chicken skin, so I came up with a vegan version of it. In the second month of continuous sharing, I began to tag people, and in one month's time, I tagged more than 30 people. The response was about half, and the one that moved me the most was a young classmate from school. His family is a very heavy meat-eating family, and he told me he started adopting one vegetarian meal a day. In the past, when I ate meat or fish, my digestion wasn't as smooth. I constantly had gastrointestinal problems, which was a burden. When I began eating vegetarian food, there wasn't much burden on my body. I believe I will continue with one vegetarian meal a day. Many people ask me why I want to be vegan. Actually, I want to ask them back why they want to be carnivores. The most important thing is to protect all lives and not harm living beings. I can also protect my health while I am at. I really feel that promoting vegetarianism isn't something that can be done in a short while. However, I feel its immersion result is very good. Although we continue to hear opposing voices, we will still continue on. When you believe in something and it's the right thing, then while carrying out the project, we shouldn't have to care much about the outside noises. If you're doing the correct thing, then continuing forward is the way to go. In our second episode about endangered animals in Taiwan, we visit the NGO Taichung Wildlife Rescue Association. In the early days, it only treated wild birds, but has since accommodated other animals. Volunteers come from different backgrounds. They all share love for animals. When I was working, I picked it up on the side of the road. This is a baby bird. Definitely do not feed it anything. This crested serpent eagle fell on the road and was sent to the Taichung Wildlife Rescue Association. We have another one, another baby bird this year. The look in the eyes of this bird shows horror. There are two others of the same species facing the same trouble. In the afternoon, thunder showers are quite frequent. 
This means it needs to grasp the time to eat in the morning to feed. The common feature of the three birds is that they are all very thin. It may be a long-term lack of food. This is the masked palm civet, which has been frequently spotted in metropolitan areas in recent years, hiding in places hard to detect by humans, such as the ceiling. Factories at the border of the urban and rural areas have a high proportion of people reporting their breeding activities. The mass palm civet looks like the ferret badger. It is often misidentified, though the two often face a similar destiny. This ferret badger also cannot find her mother. <laughs> At school found Mr. Lin to come and give a speech. I was a sophomore or a junior at that time and then I came here to volunteer. I do more indoor work like medical treatment or nursing care. I really like white animals so I don't mind the hard work. The Taichung Wildlife Rescue Association was established in 2011. It has saved many helpless animals who experience moments of severe injury and powerlessness. Lin Wenlong, a research team leader, has been involved with this group for 10 years. He is busy with frontline rescue, education, and promotion, and investigation and research. His phone always seems to be ringing. Long and lychees are planted in the Wufeng Tongling community. The artificial nest hung from the tree was originally used to provide a breeding place for the collared scops owl. Later, the giant flying squirrel also came as a guest. In the early days, the main thing I was observing was the collared scops owl. And then later, there were giant flying squirrels. They have staggered seasons so they can share the nest. We should establish a concept with consumers that the pesticides used on fruit trees is safe. How do you prove it is safe? Well, they can't lie if there is a wildlife here. You can't pay them to live here, no matter how much you spend. Lin Wenlong has been cooperating with community residents for a long time to track the rehabilitation of wildlife and nature. There are graduate students from National Chongqing University who have joined him in the past two years. The tenants in the nest box are a mother and child. There are special procedures if there are mothers and babies in the same nest, as we can use anesthesia now. When we go back, we will use gas anesthesia. The juveniles will have an examination. If you can combine research with students who are willing to do it, of course, we must help. Under the same blue sky, the distance between humans and wildlife is becoming closer. Compared with dogs and cats, wild animals are relatively weak. As special people such as Lin Wenlong are committed to using his professionalism and vigor to draw attention to this important cause. Due to the pandemic, City Dallas' Academy has been holding classes online. As the pandemic eases, the Academy is ready to start classes in the classrooms. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.